What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about Destiny and Destiny 2. Now, this is really exciting to me because I've had tons of fun playing Destiny. It's been a while since I got into that game and I'm going to explain to you guys at the end of the video why I actually stepped away from Destiny. But Destiny 2 rumors are abundant and people have been talking about this thing coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox and possibly PC for a long time. I'm good friends with one of the biggest Destiny players in the community, Briar Rabbit. We do a show every single Sunday called Beastly Thoughts. Be sure to check it out on Briar Rabbit's Twitch channel at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. But Destiny has been really out there in the news for the Destiny community for a while. And it appears that some of these rumors are becoming more crystallized as possibly being true uh, in the near future for gamers to actually see Destiny 2 at home on their PlayStation 4s, on their Pros, on their Xbox Ones, and on their Xbox Scorpios. Possibly even PCs. I'll drop a link in the description. Destiny 2 rumors gain credibility following confirmation of Vicarious Vision's involvement. A seemingly innocuous tweet from Destiny development team is stirring up quite a bit of chatter this weekend after fans noticed it lined up with the old speculation about the yet to be announced sequel. It looks like Destiny 2 just might include the drastic changes reported earlier this year. Back in September, someone claiming to have inside information on the next game in the Destiny franchise disclosed an incredible amount of information about changes they claimed they'd be making in the sequel. In addition to moving the action to Jupiter, the user and later Kotaku's Jason Schreier claimed an entirely new progression system will be introduced in Destiny 2. Changes to the core mechanics and character progression will alter just about every aspect of Destiny's experience. In fact, it's currently believed that Bungie will have to wipe everyone's progress and force the community to begin a journey anew. The sources also claim two outside studios, High Moon and Vicarious Visions, were recruited to help with development of the Destiny sequel. At the time, neither were confirmed to be working on Destiny 2, but a brief update on the studio's Facebook page, which has since been removed, confirms Vicarious Visions is helping Bungie, quote, further expand, end quote, the Destiny franchise. It's not clear why the studio decided to scrap the announcement, particularly since the corresponding tweet still remains up. This is earth-shattering news for the Destiny community. Uh, this is something I'll say. I think Destiny is an amazing game, very fun. Uh, but the thing with me is it was fun in short bursts. It was fun in spurts. Once you play Destiny, you get in there, you run around the Crucible, you check out Iron Banner, you do the quest. Once that's over, you try some Nightfalls, you do a raid or two, and then you've seen pretty much everything until the next DLC becomes available. And so when you go through that three or four times, you kind of step away from it and you look for other things to do. And that's just what happened to me. I haven't even tried the latest DLC for Destiny. I have every one except for the very last one that came out. I'm going to definitely try it. I just got to get myself back into it. But Destiny 2... Seeing that on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, leaving the old generations of consoles behind and actually seeing these games optimized, possibly running in 60 frames per second, new progression system, that's very intriguing to me. Whether or not Bungie decides to make these players from the original Destiny game reset and start anew, which I think would be a horrible idea, I think that would be a terrible idea, uh, remains to be seen. But we know Vicarious Vision is working on the next Destiny game. More than likely we'll hear more news about this in the coming year. I'm thinking Destiny 2 will be a 2017 release. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Have you or anyone that you know stayed with Destiny from the beginning up until now? To me it's very hard to do, but I know people who've actually done it and still having a good time playing it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited about Destiny 2? I actually am. They released Destiny 2 on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. I'm there day one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel by clicking on the support tab at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.